my channel. If you're new here, that's great because so am I. So I thought I would just jump on here today and make a little video about some new ideas for Valentine's because everybody's tired of chocolate and nobody wants a stuffed animal at this age. So I found some ideas for my husband and I and thought I'd share them. Um, all of these can be found on Amazon. So I will have the links below. Just click on it, it'll take you straight there. So the first thing I wanted to show you was this little guy. Got it for my husband for Christmas, but I know a lot of his friends got watches or new phones, earbuds. So this can actually charge all three. So you put your watch on top, you have your phone here, earbuds here. You take your just regular charger for your phone, plug it up here, sit it beside your bed, does all three wirelessly. Pretty cool. I believe it was only like 30 bucks. So it'd be a really cool idea just for Valentine's um, birthday coming up. Great for the guys because they're hard to buy for. Ta -da! It's a lighter. Wow, would anybody want a lighter? Who knows? But gave it to my husband. He thought it was so neat because, watch this. Looks like a little mini taser. So he goes around our house lighting all of our candles now and thinks it's so cool. I think he burned like five million holes in papers just to play with it. It also has a little safety over the button so my three-year-old can't burn our house down. Pretty neat idea. It just, again, plugs up to a phone charger, comes with a charger, plug it in, and it keeps charged for a pretty long time. I don't think we've charged this since maybe last month. So, random idea, but pretty cool once they start playing with it. Next idea, this little guy. It's actually a Zippo, like the Zippo lighters. Um, couldn't figure out what to get my husband. He's a deer hunter, he goes fishing. Um, some guys go to ball games when it's cold. Any reason to be outside, work. So it's really lightweight, fits right in the pocket. It is actually a power bank as well as a hand warmer. So it fits right in your hand, actually gets really warm and stays charged for a while. It lights up and tells you how charged it is, when to charge it. But again, you just turn it right on, starts warming instantly. Pretty cool idea, you can keep it in your jacket, whatever. I actually forgot to mention the prices of these. The hand warmer can be found anywhere between 20 to $40. Depends on if it's on sale or not. I think I got it on Black Friday, a little cheaper than what it is right now. And the rechargeable lighter. I got it on a Black Friday sale for like six bucks. I looked earlier, I've seen them for about 10 to $12. So just kind of depends on when you get it. Okay, next up. Every parent loves it. And if you don't, I need to know how you survive without it. It's kind of what gets me through the day. Coffee. My husband and I are huge coffee drinkers. We have a Keurig. I have a Keurig at work. We have a regular coffee pot. He drinks out of the regular coffee pot, the entire pot. And I drink out of my Keurig. But we do both love the same type of coffee. So I thought I'd bring in some coffee ideas to be your candy replacement gift because a lot of us indulged a little too much for Christmas, so we don't want candy for Valentine's. Just give us the coffee. We're tired moms. Plug it. Plug the coffee. I have bad inner eyes. I need to hurry up and chug the second cup of coffee. If you are like me and you're chasing your two-year-old and three-year-old around, and by the time you get back to your coffee, it's kind of cold, but you also don't want to waste your coffee because I don't know if you've seen the prices of coffee going up. Got this little guy. I actually received it as a Christmas present from a coworker, so pretty cool idea. I am gonna start using it probably today. 
I've been saving it to show you guys. Plugs up to a regular outlet. Flick this little button. Sit your coffee on top and it keeps it warm while you're running around or at work, taking phone calls, helping customers, doing whatever you have to do. And then by the time you get back to your coffee, it's lukewarm or cold. And no, it's just not as good. Really neat idea. Never even thought about it until I got it as a gift. And I was like, this is something I have to show you guys. Um, I think the price can range on these everywhere. So it, you can find them for like 10 bucks, 15 bucks, 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 40 bucks. I looked, it was crazy the list. I'm going to link one similar to this because my other coworker has actually been using hers and we know it's great. I've just been too lazy to get mine out of the box, but it's out now, so I'm going to start using it. But I will try to find this exact one and link it because it was a very reasonable price. So, with that being said, our favorite, favorite coffee. Um... We actually found this coffee online. I believe they sell it at Bass Pro. Definitely on Amazon. I'll link it below. Um, Cabela's. And then we were just recently in Pigeon Forge and they had their own little cafe set up. Looked just like a Starbucks. Definitely recommend it if you're in Pigeon Forge. Black Rifle Coffee. Oh, it's amazing. Um, no, I'm not sponsored by them in any way. Wish I was. If you're watching, please reach out. I love you. Our favorite's the Just Black. This is the ground coffee. It actually comes in cake cups, which I will be purchasing for myself. My husband makes this in his pot coffee maker, and we share it on the weekends. The best thing about this coffee brand that I love is a portion of its profits. A portion of its profits. Did I say that right? goes to veterans, law enforcement, firefighters, and first responders. That's amazing because we all need them eventually in our lives. And if we don't, then that's a blessing, but I still want to support them. So I'm drinking coffee anyway. Why not let it go to a good cause? Um, this, like I said, is Just Black is the um, name of this flavor. It's a medium roast. It, I'll tell you kind of what the flavor is. Featuring cocoa and vanilla aroma, bold tasting notes, and a smooth, buttery finish. Um, indulge in founding roast of black rifle coffee. So, we drink our coffee black. We don't put cream or anything. Sometimes I do the skinny girl syrups, the hazelnut or something, just to kind of change it up but this is amazing if you drink just plain black coffee because it does have an actual kind of slight of a flavor to it there's all kinds of different flavors on their website um like i said also you have amazon prime they sell it on amazon how cool so definitely worth trying now my last gift item that my husband gave me and I think is amazing. The Hyper Chiller. Found yet again our favorite store in the world, Amazon. I love iced coffee, especially in the summertime, but the iced coffee makers I've tried just doesn't cut it. And I don't have all the counter space to have so many different types of coffee makers. Um, don't like just going and buying iced coffee when I already have coffee grounds and K-cups bought up. So, this just sits in my freezer. Really super easy, super simple, just works off ice. So you pour your coffee in right here. It goes in, swish it around. I think it holds up to 12 ounces. Swish it around. It says 60 seconds. I literally do it for like 30 seconds. Pour it over my ice, comes right out, out of here, and it doesn't even melt my ice. That's how cold it already is. I've had this one setting out for a little while, so it's not like freezing my hands off, but it is really neat. See if I can open it to show you. Probably can't because I'm not strong enough. So it's 
stainless steel inside. All of these parts can go right in the dishwasher or you can hand wash it if you choose to. Um, it has the lid. This part comes off. This cup comes out. It has ice all around here. So when you're pouring your coffee in, it's actually going in this part. So it's never actually touching the ice and getting water down because mm, nobody wants water down coffee. What would be the point? So that's another great thing is that it doesn't melt your ice and it doesn't have to be in contact with ice. Like I know I used to just try to shake mine with ice. Well, then it's watered down and disgusting. So this part comes off and it has a block of ice inside it too. So it's ice inside the stainless steel, out ice outside the stainless steel, pour your coffee in between these two, swishing it around. Best idea ever created. I love it. It was probably around 25 bucks. I can put this right under my Keurig and it can go straight in here. Scalding hot, it's made for it. Or I can take a pot of coffee, pour straight in here. It's great. Swish it around, iced coffee. Amazing. I will be making another video for the kids, what I plan on getting my kids for Valentine's. Um, great ideas for your kids for Valentine's that I got my kids for Christmas. I do have some more ideas coming up. My husband and I plan on, plan on building a house this year. So we've already been buying stuff online, light fixtures, things like that, that we're finding that we fall in love with that we just want to have ready because the worst part about building a house during pandemic is the supply chain. It's so slow to get things in. Um, our builder has already told us he's behind on the previous build because it's taken so long to get things in. So we're trying to help out and do our part by going ahead and getting faucets, things like that already ordered. So when he's ready to go, we got it, we're ready to go. So I want you guys to come along with us and build the house with us. No, you're not paying for it, obviously. I'm not making anything off YouTube, so. This is just something I thought about doing. When we got into talking about building a house, I searched YouTube trying to see videos of people like come along with us as we build our house. There's nothing out there that I can really find. If there is, please link it below. I wanna see. So I thought, well, why don't I do that? So other people, if you're like me trying to find that, you can have the ideas and you can comment and give me ideas or maybe I'll do videos of yes or no. What do you think? White windows, black windows, all these decisions we're going to have to make. It's going to be challenging. So yeah, that's what we thought about doing was, you know, from the ground up, we actually just got the deed and everything on our land. So pretty soon, hopefully we'll be starting the dirt work and we're serious from the dirt to the roof going on and everything in between. We want you guys coming along with us and giving us ideas and helpful tips. If you've built a house recently, definitely want your input. So maybe some shop with me videos of mirrors and different ideas of putting, you know, in bathrooms, things like that. So yeah, so, so that's so for me. Should we create like a little drinking game of how many times I said so in this video? Yeah, probably should. We'd be drunk. Maybe just use our coffee for that. Anyway, again, like, comment, tell me all the things you want to tell me. Subscribe. Hit the bell. I'll be back.